Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome, my Taurus friends and friends of Taurus. This is the Divine Phoenix Rising Tarot. And hey, I'm Zachary. Thank you guys for joining me here and welcome to my table. So Taurus, my Taurus friends, um, if you're new here, I do go over channel messages. We look at Oracle cards and then we go into tarot messages. If you guys are returning, it's good to see you again. I hope you all are doing well and things are not too difficult, okay? Uh, I understand if they may be though. It feels there's a message coming through surrounding uh, like protection and direction. So I feel like things, uh, yeah, I mean, they might be a little bit crunchy as they are, as they tend to be, right, in some areas. Meh, what can you do? Um, so your channel messages here, Taurus. What came through was, first of all, decadence. Decadence and you are ready. You're ready, you guys. What are you ready for? Well, um, it kind of feels like there is something coming around regarding something that you've wanted from your past that you may have an opportunity to re-go for or go for for the first time. Um, with decadence coming through, I mean, being Taurus, Taurus does like their creature comforts. Um, nothing wrong with that for sure. There may be, uh, you know, a little bit more of the shadow side of Taurus can be slipping into uh, an importance placed on decadence or on items, okay? Um, if that's you, I think there's just a caution to, or a, a recommendation to shift gears a little bit, okay? Um, if you're if you're <laughs> leaning a little bit too far into comfort, uh, I feel like that's just for maybe a few of you, not everybody. Uh, just, uh, there's energy that could be put into other ventures at this time, and I feel like it would be worth it for you. Okay, Cheryl, what I was shown was, uh, or were two waves. They were parallel waves that were um, moving right next to each other. So these waves never crossed each other's path because they were traveling in the same direction, on the same plane. They have the same frequency as well. What that was saying to me is um, that there is this force. Maybe it's a person, maybe... Um, uh, a guide, you know, one, one of your spirit team members um, that has an influence in your life that you may not be able to see, okay? This could be if you want to look at it as God, creator, whatever your flavor is, that's totally fine here. There is an alert. Spirit is just saying that although you can't maybe see that this wave exists, be sure that it does. Be sure that this influence does exist. You are only not aware of it because of your limited ability as a human being to experience where this other wavelength might be coming from, okay? Next, I was shown a horse that had two eye patches on. So typically, they might have blinders, right, to keep them focused on a central goal. Having two eye patches, what the message was that came through for me, um was again faith. Horses themselves, um, freedom is, is what I think about mostly with the symbology of a horse. Something about your freedom, your movement, your ability to uh, be free to move wh wherever with whomever you'd like to is contingent on you having faith, feeling into or just understanding that this influence of support is a part of your life, okay? And I feel like that is, again, however you want to look at that, creator, God, source, the laws of the universe. We don't see gravity working. We only feel its effects, right? Or can see its effects. Okay, so um, let's move into, did we get it all? Yes, you're ready. You're ready, you guys. So let's move into your Oracle messages. Oracle. Um, Spirit wanted to use all the ones I had on the table here. <laughs> So you guys got one of each, and then I'll pull a couple on camera as well. Um, first card that came out in the uh, Starseed Oracle, Weight of the World, Boundaries, Let It Go, It's Not Yours to Carry. So with this coming out, I do feel like there's something that you're carrying around that you need not carry, okay? Maybe you are carrying somebody else's weight, and while that is our prerogative, you know, to decide if and or 
when we do those sorts of things, we can make sacrifices for other people. What this is saying to me is this is more like something has gone too far. It's starting to affect your health. And this may be what is causing you to lean more into decadence as well. If you're sacrificing too much of your time or energy or resources for another person, and it's causing you to move into your shadow, you're being asked to readdress your boundaries here, to let go of what isn't yours, okay? To determine what isn't yours and then let, let it go if it's not. The next card that came through here is the Urban Crow Oracle. <clears throat> Protection. 545 on the timer there too. So this card is reminding us that we are protected. You are protected, okay? You are ready and you are protected. This is something that is very crucial, I feel like, right now, especially because of the next card, Starborn, in the archetype deck that came through. Um, there is a need for you guys to really feel to be protected. Whether this is leaning into the faith, knowing that you are protected, or and or creating better boundaries here so that there is better protection for yourself, um, the effect is the same, regardless of, of where you're at here. With the Starborn, this is your, um, it's the Divine Child. There's a lot of creative expression that's attached to this. It's going to be kind of like a, the child archetype. The book mentions um, or posits, what if the galaxy is your ally? Okay, again, back to this faith component. Having faith that the galaxy, God, universe, creator, source, is conspiring for your success, okay? Not to watch you writhe in torment, right? Um, there's a component of this as well that mentions when this card comes up to not be surprised if something of great creativity or passion from the past is re-evoked, comes back to the surface. So this is why I feel like protection is so important right now and boundaries because there's an energy that's coming forward that's reminding you of something that you really felt passionate about. You really wanted to be a part of your life as a, as a child, as a teen, young adult, whatever point in your life this passion made itself aware is less important. It's something that was not really ever followed through on. Maybe you didn't feel safe to pursue whatever this is. Maybe it, it seems weird, I don't know, to, to most people whatever, right? Uh, it's only weird until it's something that becomes more well known and, and, you know, and accepted. Okay. Someone's got to, someone's got to pave the path somewhere. Right. And this may just be you, whether this is for others or for yourself, 808 on the timer too. Um, it, it doesn't really matter, but it feels very important. Okay. So let's pull an animal spirit energy for you guys. From the wild unknown animal spirit what we have for taurus please spirit taurus taurus it feels like like you're getting ready to move yourself do you want these do you want all of them Yes. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Um, and this is actually the card I was thinking of as I, you're getting re ready to move yourself, uh, was the Buffalo. So Taurus, you guys don't move unless you want to, right? If you're done moving, ain't nothing going to move you except for, uh, an act of God. Okay. Um, the Buffalo here, they make slow and steady progress. They don't let things trip them up. They keep their eye to the horizon, maybe even in, in the um, face of danger, okay, or, or chaos. So what I was saying is I feel like you guys are getting ready to move after a time of not moving. You're ready to bring movement back into your own life. And that's what I was thinking of was the slow and steady of the buffalo. So that makes sense. That's coming through. Owl. <clears throat> Owl and scorpion also come through here. So I feel like there is, um, I love this actually with the owl coming forward. This it can be wisdom, um, but in this book in particular, it talks about a gift, like a, an abundance, a, a gift of some sort, loot. <laughs> um, 
with that coming up with the Starborn, I feel like something's coming up, you guys. Something coming up from your past that deserves to be seen. Not even, not even deserve. Like, it deserves to be seen and acted on, but this was a part of your grander design. And because of that, the grander design. So it's very important that you participate in this uh, with yourself. To not be afraid. You're ready to do this. Okay, yeah, you're ready to do this. So the scorpion. The scorpion is... Um, the scorpion can be kind of a, a loner energy, I guess. They are very select about their friends, who they let close, let in. Um, with this coming forward, I feel like this is... This is more of a... Not that you need to cut any friends out or anything like that with the weight of the world and protection coming through. There's a request to look at um, where you might be bleeding energy, okay? Especially in the form of relationships. Because there's a trek here, like an adventure. There's a task at hand that you are taking, and at the end of that, or somewhere along the quest, you have this gift, this treasure that's coming forward. And you need all of the energy from your breakfast that morning <laughs> to take this trek or this adventure, okay? Not that, like I said, we're not just cutting people out of our lives for no for no reason or cutting them out at all. Just being a little bit more specific on how you're distributing your energy. Okay? Okay. Um, a mudra card here, and then we'll move into the tarot messages. So what do we have here for Ari or Taurus? Excuse me, Aries. Um, I filmed Aries earlier today. Taurus, please, spirit. Tor Tor Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Uh, so mudra's here. This is something I am adding as a, a new little... Oracle card. Mudras are hand symbols or gestures that um, accentuate or block certain energetic components in our body. Earth, wind, water, fire, and spirit. And they all have certain effects. So what do we have here for Taurus, please, spirit? Hmm. Interesting. So um, openness. Open the windows of your soul. So I'm going to read this to you here. Bronchial mudra. This mudra clears the bronchial tubes and makes your breathing easier. In cases of acute breathing difficulty, maintain the mudra as long as necessary. In chronic cases, perform it four times daily for about five to ten minutes. While breathing out deeply and thoroughly, contract your abdominal wall. Imagine yourself to be sitting on top of a mountain. You enjoy the view, the space, and the pure, fresh mountain air, which you are breathing in with deep lungfuls. At the same time, you're inhaling prana, the cosmic life energy. Prana clears and heals your lungs, gives you strength, and supplies all your needs. I am open for what is of beauty and good. I accept it with thankfulness. So some of you might be, um, and this is, there we go, middle, middle finger here on the thumb, ring and pinky down, uh, pointer finger is going to be pointing out here. So in case you missed that. Um, some of you may be having some bronchial issues, breathing issues, if that's the case. This will be helpful for you. More so, though, I feel that it is opening opening you up to accepting the energy of the universe, whatever is being gifted to you guys here, okay? Just to help open that right up, all right? So let's move into your tarot messages. Spirit, what do we have here for Taurus, please? This is the Fortuna deck. Um, huge shout out to my channel members, you guys. Hello, hello. Thank you for your love and support, as always. If you're interested in becoming a channel member yourself, there's a link in the description of this video. And there's also a join button right next to the subscribe button under the video. You can hit subscribe if you haven't already. I do have personal readings open and available. If you are interested um, in those, feel free to check that out. There's a link in the description of the video, too. I'm going to take you to my web chat. My web chat. All right, for Taurus here, please, Spirit. Um, the Seeker kind of fell out there as I was shuffling, which is the Fool. Which one here? Um, new Journey, okay, New Choice is what was coming through. New Journey, a need for faith, again, taking this leap of faith, all right? Feels like there's a big step that's needing to be taken here, and you guys can do it. <laughs> wow, 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 I was just saying this with the Buffalo here too. So your hope, hopes and dreams, you have the Tower. So, um, 
especially being in your hope, I, I find that interesting. Like, you guys are ready to move, like I said. Tower is going to be a violent upheaval. This could be something that's outside of our control. We may also instigate tower moments in our life. This is really just the dissemination, the destruction of those things that were built out of ego, okay? They were never meant to last in our life. The tower allows us a viewpoint, you know, a vantage point to be able to maybe see the horizon, to know where to go with this buffalo. This lightning, though, that comes through with the buffalo, that is reminiscent to me of the lightning that strikes the tower. So this could be an event that's already happened. Um, it could be something that you're working toward. Maybe you're just so tired of everything going on in your life, you're ready for a complete overhaul, okay? You're hoping, you're wanting to, to break free from whatever it is that makes you feel imprisoned. Okay, yeah, totally. Totally. Um, so, Spirit, what do we have here for Taurus? Second deck here is the Phantasma deck. This is a general message, everybody. So please keep that in mind. You are extremely intelligent. Please use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher which messages are for you. If you're finding yourself forcing it or making it fit, um, stop doing that. <laughs> It's okay if the message isn't for you, okay? Check out your rising moon Venus, any other major placements in your chart. You are more than your sun sign. We have every sign in our chart, and I encourage you to take a look. Take a look. Okay, seven of cups here. This is in your fear aversion. So seven of cups, um, I feel like you guys are feeling like you're, okay, that's, yeah, it's a very gridlock kind of energy. So maybe that tower energy is what needs to come through. Feeling kind of frozen here. Could be out of fear, too many choices, indecision. Uh, maybe there are so many options out there in the great unknown that, uh, oh, that reminds me. I'll show that here in a second. Um, There's so many options that are available in the void. This may be overwhelming to you right now. So you may be resisting making a decision on something out of fear of making the right one or the wrong one or just that you're overwhelmed maybe you have anxiety okay going into a freeze or fawn kind of reaction mm. let's take a look um so i had to show this the the starseed oracle the void ended up here on the bottom um this is this was here for aries it was here for the new moon leo that I did in one of the piles as well. So the void here, it's stop, embrace winter and great cosmic womb. Um, what I feel is that you guys have been in that void and it feels like collectively maybe we've been in this void. The void is a liminal space that has everything and nothing at the same time. It's both large and small. It's kind of like a waiting area while other areas are, are buffered or you know created as we're manifesting things. It just stood out to me that you know, it keeps popping up here in, in the various signs. So I feel like you're moving from this place of the void to real life again, where you want to be, actually experiencing what you want to experience. And this may take that violent, chaotic energy that is the tower, whether it's your choice or not, to break, to break you through the void into reality again. Okay. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Ooh. Okay. General to start here. You guys have 10 of elixirs. So Ten of Cups, this is, um, it's divine love, it's connection to the divine, happy family, community in that way. Um, for some of you, it can, Ten of Cups can also refer to like your hometown. Um, some of you may be wanting or maybe getting the opportunity to leave. Maybe you've been wanting to get away from where you grew up. Um, I don't feel like that's everybody, but there's this searching for your community, searching for connection through the divine. Okay. I feel like this is something you're already working to connect to the divine. Most of you anyway, if you're not meditating, meditating, journaling, starting to become curious about why we're doing the things that we're doing. This is why we're here. And the more that you do that, the more you connect to the divinity within yourself, the more you're connecting to the divine. And you're being connected to those who are also connected to the divine. So three of wands comes through here next. Um, yeah, I kind of feel I kind of feel like there is this call to like a soul tribe. Um, three of wands here is expansion. It's it's moving from the planning phases to the acting stage. Okay, 
putting things into motion. Um, help arriving, yeah, help arriving, okay. I feel like this is the wavelength, the faith that's being mentioned in the in the preview, in the meditation prior. This requires you though um, to connect to the divine. What the the divinity within ourselves? What is that? Our own divinity is our ability to overcome human difficulty. That's what makes us divine. That is what our divinity is. That is what our connection to the divine is as well. So the more that you are putting effort into focusing on how to overcome human difficulty, the more you are connecting to that divine energy and are being led to where it is you're looking to go. This little weasel or stout is like calling out to the moon. I always think of that song from, from 5 -0. Somewhere out there beneath the pale moonlight. So it's like you're calling out for somebody. And I feel like they're hearing that call and that call is getting louder to them too the more that you connect, okay? And the more that they're connecting as well. Cool, love that. So 2112 on the timer as well. Damn, you guys, okay. So good stuff for you. I like to see this. Decadence, this, this is making a little bit of sense. Uh, nine of elixirs comes through. So you've had both the nine and 10 of cups. Awesome. This is your personal satisfaction. It is a wish coming true. So I'm brought back to this, this gift, the treasure that's coming forward with the owl and the starborn, something that you had given up on long ago that actually needs to be experienced, deserves to be experienced, and is a gift in your life. This is you like doing the things that you love to do, okay? Getting excited about that. Knowing that there is bliss and merit and worth in what it is you want to participate in and within yourself. Awesome. Yay. Okay, cool. Love that. Three of Cups, too, comes through. <laughs> Ten, uh, three of wands, and then three of cups. Love it. Three, three. So three of cups here. This is a victory. Success and celebration. Especially with your soul tribe. Your kindred souls. Um, I do get also... You may be more apt to celebrate as these things are coming through. As you're starting to notice the uh, stuff from childhood that's coming up that you want to participate in and you start participating in it, you have more reasons or more energy to celebrate, even when maybe things aren't uh, the most ideal, I don't know, from the outside to celebrate. Always find a reason to celebrate. You're here and you're worth celebrating, Taurus. Remember that, okay? Um, that also kind of connects to the nine of cups here too. Um, it's somebody who's getting ready for a feast. They're getting ready for whatever it is that they're manifesting. And they know what it feels like, so they're already feeling that way because they've been there before. I'm getting that kind of vibe here. That's being supported for you. Either like a cloud, maybe you've been under a cloud, depression, anxiety, whatever. Things have really been weighing you down. I feel like that wavelength that you're not seeing that's right next to you, that's walking side by side to you is providing you additional support in alleviating some of that pressure so that you can get to a point of bringing in those positive feelings to bring in positive manifestations, okay? Yay, love it. Help, help arriving at exactly the right time. So uh, what you don't see coming, what's in the dark here, you have the Oracle, the Hierophant. Yes. <laughs> So um, spiritual enlightenment, you guys, ascension, initiation. This is also, um, I feel like this is an encouragement or maybe a little peek into the future here for you. You are starting to break outside of what is traditional for you, to break outside of your own mold or track or a rut, okay? You're tired of being on the circle track and what you don't see coming here is, is a way out of that, okay? Or the ability to break through that, to carve a new path. This is also your card, BT-dubs. 2442 on the timer as well. So what you don't see coming is you, you baby. <laughs> your true power, okay? 
Yes. Yes. Seven of Swords comes through here next. Okay. I feel like this is a sneaky theft betrayal kind of energy. It can be diplomacy, taking only what's needed. I feel like this is a fine balance here for you. The difference between breaking free from your mold or your prison, wanting to break out of that, um, that prison with the tower. Um, there's a fine line between like betraying yourself in not doing that and, um, and not doing it to excess, okay? It's kind of what I'm getting. There's a request to keep things just so. To utilize the only, the amount of energy that you need to utilize. To use only the resources that you need to use right now. I'm not saying, you know, like, don't treat yourself, this or that. But with decadence coming through in the meditation, that's kind of what I feel. There's a, there's a request here to not, to not go too far in either direction. Okay, let's keep going. So the difficulty for you guys right now, your, your challenge at this time, and this makes sense, the moon. So the moon is gonna be our subconscious realm, the unconscious realm, our fears. It could be like animal instincts too. I feel like um, this, this is the portion that is the separation between um, betraying yourself <laughs> or taking just what you need, being diplomatic, finding a solution to the problem that prevents a larger problem down the road. But this requires that you look into the face of the moon or the water that the moon is reflecting on. And instead of allowing that fear that's coming up to take you over, trying to push it out or sequester it somewhere, you're allowing the light of the moon to show you exactly what it is. You are that water, and there's a need to calm the water so that the reflection that's coming up is not so distorted and scary. Nice, peaceful, calm surface of the water allows the moon, the light from the moon, to reflect um, onto an even surface and to give you a clear picture of what's actually going on. And most of the time, what it is we're afraid of is not, it's not as scary as it is when it's in the dark, okay? You can do this though. You can do it. Uh, <laughs> damn. Yeah, totally. Totally your shadow. Uh, the djinn is what comes through here. The devil. The devil. So the djinn or the genie. Um, this is our shadow. So having, having the moon connected to that as well, it's the unconscious realm. It's the shadow realm where fears reside. This is uh, everything that keeps us chained to the physical realm here. We at any time can take ourselves out of that kind of restrictive or constricted environment though. Whatever it is, addiction wise, we may be dealing with toxic relationship habits, um, personal communication habits with ourselves. Those are all things that we can 100% change. It requires that we realize that the, uh, the gate here, the door is open. It's not closed. So we can, we can leave at any time. <laughs> we don't have to be stuck in that cage. Um, this is kind of, I feel like this is the tower that needs to come down to. Maybe you are struggling with something or there's just a habit, I don't know, eating too much, using too much of a substance, um, not feeling okay with alone time, you know, needing to be connected with people all the time. It could be many different things, but Whatever it is, I feel that you're already aware that you want or need that to change a bit. That's this tower energy here that you have in your hopes and dreams. Mm. Oh, okay. Interesting. So I feel, ah, okay. This is why it's important to calm the water here. So the, uh, these fears are a fear that may be coming up. What's coming up as far as the treasure, as far as the passion from the past, this is in your shadow. This is something that all the components that are in our shadow are not bad and good and bad is subjective, but 
They're components of ourselves mostly that deserve to be in the light, but that we're told that they're not good enough, that they have to be in the dark, that we need to keep that under lock and key, right? And so we sequester them to the dark. Whatever this gift is, is coming through your shadow. It's been sitting in the shadow. It's, you're ready, you're ready. It's time to bring that to light, whatever that is. Okay, whatever it is that you enjoy doing, whatever you're good at doing, whatever it is you want to do. Let that, let that come forward. Okay, Taurus, I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here for this message. I am going to move into extended. If you want to join me there, uh, we look at direct messages from your higher self, love and advice, career and advice, and then also what is most likely being manifested for you based on your thoughts and emotions. This is where I leave you. Thank you guys for joining me. Um, uh, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. I truly appreciate your support in growing this channel. It means a lot to me. I have personal readings open again if you want to check that out. And I, if you do feel called to tip or donate, you resonated with this message, I will accept that. It is not mandatory, but I truly appreciate the support, you guys. Cash App and PayPal links are in the description of the video. Okay, please take care of yourself. I will see you all very, very soon. Be well.